Hello, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and it is time for a fan requested matchup. Joe Bonana says that he wants to have Jay 2001 versus Phil from 2011. Please. Now, I really respect that. Please. Now, I, I find manners are very important. Here in Canada, I forgot my medication, so I am sorry. This video may be a little bit loose in the um, commentary. I, uh, I'm i going to go with Jay Cutler here in the front relaxed position. One of the few men able to stand up against Dr. Phil in this front relaxed position. Phil has those arms, keep in mind. He is flattening Jay in that aspect. But his chest is... His clavicle is very narrow, and Jay Cutler, his bone structure is unbeatable here. Not to mention, like I said, one of the few men to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Phil Heath in this front relax, but one of the few men to be able to dominate Phil Heath in the lag department. Even in this blurry old picture, you can still see feathering in Jay Cutler's legs and the icing on the cake, the ab department. I never was a fan of Phil Heath's abs, even in these salad days of Phil Heath. I still like Jay Cutler's set of abs. So Jay Cutler picks up a, a point, I guess you could call it. It is a front relaxed position after all. Now here in the front double bicep pose, Jay picks up a legitimate point. Now it is close, mind you. Phil Heath, look at those guns. He gets a gold star because he is, if, if we were going backwards in time, he is improving his front double bicep pose. One of his worst poses now, but back then, awesome pose, doing battle for sure. Phil Heath, that gut though, it, it protrudes, you know what I mean? It, it is a slender waistline, but his abs, they're like big plates. They seem to protrude out where, as Jay Cutler has somewhat of a vacuum, Jay Cutler he has a wide waist, mind you, but he always, always kept his gut in check. Even in his last, later years of bodybuilding, this man, say what you will about his wide waist, he always kept that gut in check. And look at his abs. They are bulging out even in this front double bicep pose. So he gets another point. Jay fetches his third point in this contest. Wow, three to nothing. He gets a point in the front lat spread, in my opinion. His conditioning just appears to be much better. Look at that thin skin. He has an answer to Phil Heath's massive quads. He has even better quads. And look at the feathering. Unbeatable. That narrow clavicle, that narrow chest cavity of Phil Heath really hurting him here against the structurally perfect uh, Jay Cutler. I always want to call Jay Cutler Phil Heath for some reason whenever I uh, discuss these two. In the same breath. But anyway, anyway, Phil Heath, those big arms are not helping him here. So, as we turn these two prime athletes around, the story seems to change. This is Dominance 101. Phil Heath, so far ahead of Jay Cutler here in this competition, it's not even funny. The conditioning of those glutes, the lower back, wishy washy in the part of Jay Cutler. With all due respect, he has a good wide back and the muscle is there. But I mean, my goodness, look at the feathering striation and just my word, look, look at that rear double by of Dr. Phil, Phil Heath fetches an easy point. Now in the rear lat spread, I would also say it is an easy point for Phil Heath. Jay Cutler, probably a little bit better of a pose when, in, when you're talking about the lower back little bit hard to see it's not the most clear picture in the world in the part of Jay's but I think it's safe to say Phil Heath fetches an easy point here in the rear lat spread as well it's a darn shame a darn shame that we are unable to get a full body picture of one Jay Cutler here in the side chest pose not a very flattering angle I don't think Phil Heath more or less gets a point here Due to, well, lack of pitcher, or lack of good pitchers. Who knows who's winning in the lag department. Those calves could have made the make or break this one. Because it is close. I like the big, thick, 70s bow there of Jay Cutler. The, the style. But look at how thick and well displayed. My soul, the conditioning of Dr. Phil. 
he is like a robot. So, reluctantly, I give him a point in this one. Now, in the side tricep, it is a close one. Aesthetically, I would give it to Jay Cutler. I, 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 it's more pleasing to the eye, the side tricep pose. But it is close. Dr. Phil, he is has a nice style here. He is stepping forward. This reminds you of Dorian Yates. He shows that back calf, except he puts it forward, not back. Either way, it looks good. Now, the reason why I am going with Dr. Phil in this one is because he is dominating in the tricep alone. Look at that tricep. Rivaled only by Roly Winkler's the ab and thigh. I must say, first of all, right out of the chute, Dr. Phil looks fantastic for Dr. Phil in this pose. Tiny little wee waist. But, once again, Jay Cutler battles back with the superior set of abs. Never a huge fan of Dr. Phil's abdominal region looks, looks like two big plates there are four big plates whereas jay cutler he has ab muscles below his belly button for goodness sakes wow and the feathering in the quads just adds the uh, icing to the top of this delicious cake oh my soul whenever i start to diet i just dream about cake here in the most muscular pose it is a tight one i'm here to tell you Cutler with that thin skin and those abs, far superior, and he has the wider chest, wider clavicle. Of course, Dr. Phil, able to maximize what he has to work with, bending down, making his clavicle appear to be a little bit wider, bending at the knees a little bit. It is close, though. Can we bring up another? Most Ah, yes, here we go with the crab shot, and Dr. Phil slamming the door shut in our friend Jay Cutler's face here. He's bending down about two feet shorter, but look at how much massive his arms, makes his arms look here. Jay Cutler looks like he has little tiny arms in comparison. With all due respect, he is still winning in the chest development. Look how wide his pecs are in comparison, but nothing doing. Dr. Phil is actually losing this competition by one point, one point only. That is very close, considering Jay Cutler won a point in the front relaxed position. We all know Dr. Phil would win in the rear relaxed position. So, that really leaves us nowhere in this. It's kind of up in the air. These two are very competitive with each other. As I remain somewhat inconclusive in this competition. So, I apologize for that, but... I have to go with what I have here. And honestly, it is a very close one. Aesthetically, I like Jay Cutler better. Of course, Dr. Phil is the more conditioned athlete when you take the lower back and the glutes into consideration. So, it's really still up in the air. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. And don't be afraid to let me know who you think won this little competition. Because I am honestly curious on who most of you will lean toward. It is a very close decision. Have a great day. Oh, and I almost forgot. Thanks once again, Joe Banana. Banana. Banana.